All right, so she's problem 64 off the math subject GRE practice test. Uh, what we're told, we're, what we're asked in 64 is to find the value of the flux of the vector field F. Um, and the vector field's relatively straightforward. We just have uh, x times, it's just x, y. I'm going to write this a little bit differently. There we go. The vector field is just uh, defined according to this vector here. Um, and here's the surface we're dealing with. Really the key to this entire problem, in my opinion anyways, is recognizing what the hell this surface is. Um, this is a hemisphere, hemis uni, uh, unit hemisphere, I guess would be the right order to write that. Um, let's see, I guess you could rewrite this. If you ignored the, if you allowed yourself to square both sides of the equation, which is cheating a little bit, you'd have z squared equals one minus x squared minus y squared. So you could add the x squared and the y squared to the other side of the equation and you'd get x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals one. And you'd be like, oh, right, that's the equation of a sphere. It's kind of like the equation of a circle, but three dimensional. Yeah, but the square root here kind of screws things up. Um, we don't have a plus or minus in here. So what that's saying is that the z coordinate is always non-negative. So we don't get the entire sphere, just the top half, if you will, of the uh, unit unit because of this one right here sphere so we got a unit hemisphere going on right here an important fact about a unit hemisphere well I'll get there about its um, about its normal vector what you need to know I guess is that the flux is given by this integral here so you integrate over the surface in question of the dot product of the vector field and a normal unit vector uh, and the way you do that well f is given to me up here and in this specific case, you can figure out the normal vector pretty easily. If you picture a unit hemisphere, am I going to try to draw it? I'm not going to try to draw this thing. Uh, what a unit vector would look like pointing, does it say pointing upward? Yeah, upward pointing, kind of outward pointing if you picture the uh, origin as the center. Uh, is just going to be, it's, it's going to be exactly this thing right here. So the normal... at any point on this surface is also just x, y, z, uh, which ends up being really convenient because if we find the dot product between this guy up here and this guy here, what we get is that we're really just trying to figure out the integral over the surface here of uh, this and this dotted together give me x squared plus y squared plus z squared over my surface. Uh, and the nice thing about x squared plus y squared plus z squared is that is equal to exactly 1 anywhere on this surface here, right? As I kind of showed before, if you square both sides, you can add the x squareds and the y squareds to the other side of the equation and get x squared plus y squared plus z squared has to equal 1. Really, all this is saying is integrate over this surface this thing. But think about what this means. Right, if you're integrating this thing one, really you don't even need to write the one right there, I just kind of write it as a placeholder. Uh, really, this is just asking you to find the surface area of our surface. Surface area of surface, that looks weird, but fine. So what is this surface area of a unit hemisphere? Well, let's see, a sphere has surface area of uh, what four thirds pi r cubed? No, that's volume. Uh, four pi r squared. Four. That's not a four. Let's try this again. Four pi r squared. Uh, r in this case is one because I have a unit hemisphere. Because if you kind of rewrote this, this would become the radius. If you want to think about this as the equation of a sphere, uh, and the square root of one just gives me one. Uh, so really, what I have for the surface area of a sphere, of this unit sphere would be four pi, but I don't want a unit sphere, I want a unit hemisphere, so I get half of four pi, aka two pi. Uh, so generally figuring out the flux is a mess, There's, it gets really complicated calculations wise and you wouldn't have time to solve it on a test like this. Uh, but for this specific problem, they force it to work out really nicely. So you're looking for little tricks like that where things simplify really nicely on a test like this, because otherwise it's kind of an unfair question for the time that you have. Uh, so 2pi ends up being your answer, and I guess that ends this video.